This will be my first night shift at the motel. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Hi, I'm Emma. I guess I'm the new night shift worker. Welcome, Emma. I'm Anderson. Don't worry. You'll get the hang of it. It's pretty quiet around here, though sometimes it can get interesting. So here's the rundown. You'll mostly be checking in late arrivals and dealing with the usual guest requests. Keep the front door locked after midnight. We get some odd folks wandering in from the highway. If the phone rings, answer it. But don't be surprised if it's just a prank call. Happens a lot. Oh, and keep an eye on the CCTV monitors. They can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. Is that it all? Seems easy. You'll also need to keep the rooms clean, do laundry, and repair any appliances that might go on the fritz. The consumables in the rooms, towels, soaps, that kind of stuff, need to be refilled, too. All the supplies you'll need are in the storage room down in the basement. It's a bit of a jack-of-all-trades gig. Got it. Sounds manageable, I think. Anything else I should know? Well, this place has its quirks. Room 3, for example. Sometimes guests report strange noises, but there's never anyone there. Seems all clear. All right, I'm out of here. You'll be fine, Emma. Just stay calm and call me if you need anything. Good luck. All right, Emma, this is it. Just a quiet night, nothing you can't handle. But why does this place feel so... off? There it is, my first guest. Just smile, good evening, be sir. professional, How can I and make you? a good impression. You've got this. Good evening, young lady. I'd like a room for the night if you have one available. Of course. Let me get you checked in. I used to work nights too back in the day. It can be a bit unsettling when you're all alone, but you'll get used to it. Just keep your wits about you and don't let your mind play tricks on you. Thanks for the advice. It's my first night, so I'm still getting used to everything. Be careful, though. The nights can be unpredictable. You never know who might walk through that door. Trust your instincts, and if something feels off, it probably is. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, sir. Good girl. Now get me a room with a view of the parking lot. I like to keep an eye on things. Room one is available. Could you please wait a few minutes to make sure that everything is ready for you, sir? Sure thing. Take your time. I will be waiting here.
Room's all set. Not too bad for my first time. Oh my god, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, my dear. I didn't mean to frighten you. You were taking a while, and I just wanted to check on you, make sure everything was all right. It's fine. I just wasn't expecting you to be here so soon. The room's all set now. Okay, well, the room is ready for you. I'll leave the key on the table here. Good night. Thanks. Good night to you, too. That gave me a scare. I have to stay sharp tonight. I need to calm down. A cup of coffee should help me shake this off. How can I help you? I need a room. It's been a long night and I'm beat. Okay, I'll just need you to fill out this form, please. Come on, it's late. Can't we skip all this? I just need a place to crash. I'm sorry, but we have to follow procedures. It'll just take a minute. It's a simple room. Why are you making this complicated? Just give me the key. I'll pay and we're good. I understand, but I'm new here. And I can't skip the check-in process. It's... it's the rules. You're new? Great. So now I have to deal with someone who doesn't even know what they're doing? I know what I'm doing, sir. I just have to follow the steps. It won't take long, I promise. Yeah, sure. More rules. What is it with people like you, always sticking to the book, no flexibility? If you don't want to stay, you're free to go somewhere else. But I You know what? Forget it. I don't need this. I'm sorry it's taking time, but I can't bend the rules just because it's late. You'll regret this. Don't think you can push everyone around just because you're behind that counter. Please leave if you're not checking in. This place is a joke. You're going to regret how you treated me. Good evening, History Route 68 Motel. How can I help you? Do you know what happens to girls who work alone at night? Is this supposed to be a joke? Because I've heard better. Oh, but I'm just getting started. Aren't you scared? Alone in that empty motel, who knows what could happen? You know, I've got better things to do than listen to some wannabe horror movie villain. If you're not here to book a room, I'm hanging up. Hang up if you want, but I'll be seeing you real soon, Emma. How do you know my name? You gave it to me when you answered the phone. Aren't you supposed to introduce yourself? Listen, if this is your idea of fun, you're wasting both of our time. I'm hanging up now. All right, all right. I'll let you get back to your night, for now. But remember, the night is long, and who knows what could happen.
Good night. Seriously, a prank call? It's the last thing I need tonight. Oh, you know, but don't do it without an antenna. You'll suddenly into the radio if you're on HF. And you don't have an HF antenna unless you run into a dummy load. Who is it this time? If this is another prank... Oh, I'm sorry to bother you, dear. It's me, the old man from room one. I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I just had a strange call earlier. What can I do for you? Well, I didn't want to trouble you, but... I've been hearing some odd noises coming from room three, and just now... I noticed some strange, flickering lights there. It's probably nothing, but I thought you should know. Thank you for letting me know. I'll go check it out right away. Please don't worry, I'll handle it. Great. What a lucky night. Emma, is everything all right out there? Sorry about that, sir. The power's out. I was trying to fix a flickering bulb in room three and it caused a short. I'm heading to the basement to get the electricity back on. That's a nasty bit of luck. Are you sure you'll be all right down there alone? The basement can be a bit unsettling at night. I'll be fine. I just need to flip the breaker and everything should be back to normal. Don't worry about it. All right, but be careful, Emma. There's something about tonight that feels off. I'll be right here if you need anything. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'll get the lights back on as quickly as I can. Just hang tight. Okay, I will save my flashlight for emergencies. The basement is the last place I want to be right now. Front desk, who's calling? Having some trouble keeping the lights on, Emma. You again? What do you want this time? Just checking in. You know, it's dangerous playing around with electricity. One wrong move and poof, no more Emma. Listen, I don't know who you are, but these calls aren't funny. I've got work to do. What's next? A little trip to the fuse box in the basement? You really need to find a better hobby. Stop wasting my time. Oh, but it's so much fun watching you. Can't wait to see what happens next. Good night, Emma. Don't call here again. Again with the pranks. This is starting to get on my nerves. But who even knows about the power outage? A shadow? Am I seeing things? Maybe it's just my mind playing tricks. Hey, Emma! Shift's over for you. I'm back early. Figured I'd check in a little sooner. How was your first night? Honestly, a lot creepier than I expected. There were strange noises, prank calls, and... Oh, the power went out. I had to go to the basement to fix it. Welcome to the night shift. It can be a bit unsettling your first time around, but you get used to it. Did everything go all right with the power? Yeah, but I thought I saw a shadow down there. At first I freaked out thinking it was a stranger. But now I realize it was just you, wasn't it? Yep, that was me. I came in early, saw the lights flicker, and figured I'd head down to check on things. A bit? I thought I was going crazy down there. You should have said something. Didn't want to interrupt the hero moment. But hey, you handled it like a pro. Yeah, well next time maybe don't be the mysterious shadow figure, okay? Deal. Anyway, your shift's over. Go ahead and wait for your bus. I'll take over from here. This was just my first night. And it already feels like I'm in a bad horror movie. Anderson wasn't kidding about the weirdness. A 
I just hope tomorrow isn't as bad. Am I being followed? Seems it's only my imaginations. Seems someone was trying to enter my apartment. I wrote the door code on a paper in case I forget it. Someone there? Better to check other rooms, rooms first. Oh, it is just a rat. Damn. I don't remember that I left the window open. Now I can breathe. I thought someone is in my apartment. 